So obviously, Bukayo Saka had a hand in all the three goals and has rightly been receiving a lot of praise across all parts of the media this week. So has he suddenly stepped up a level this season, do you think? No, we've been seeing it for season upon season. It annoys me because every single time people talk about Saka, whether it be with Arsenal or England, when it's Arsenal, it's, yeah, but there are other players that are better than him. And when he plays for England, what can we change in the England team? Palmer should play on the right. And you're like, have you looked at his numbers over the last few years? They're better than anybody's. I mean, he's so important. And that, and that tells you a lot because England managers will pick him up for every single game. Mm. And, and of course, uh, Arteta knows how important he is. We'll play him in every single game. So, no, I think he's been playing at such a high level for so long. We're so used to seeing him play at these levels that people are looking, not Arsenal fans, other fans are looking for reasons to, OK, why, how can we take him out? How can we disc discredit him a little bit? Like, even though his numbers in terms of goal assist this season are incredible, well, he's only got one goal. It's that they will find something <laughs> to say about him. And finally, as you said this week, you're reading some of the reports, he's finally getting the respect he deserves. But Arsenal fans, and Clive, and obviously Adrian, of course, will know he's been doing it for season upon season for a while now. He, he has, but Adrian knows what I'm going to say. We were talking about, it. basically, there are many facets to a game, many phases of a game, and you can trust him in any phase yeah, of the game. Yeah. You can trust him as an auxiliary fullback. You can, he can push up high. He can take it on the inside. He's quick on transition, defensive and going forward. I mean, he, he's a completely rounded footballer. And, and I feel like a lot of Arsenal people are trying to, to tell everybody about this. Maybe we just need to keep a bit quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and just relax about it, because yeah. it's still early in the season. Yeah. They'll know soon enough when, when he arrives on their pitch. And we should not get so angry about the fact mm. that people are comparing him to other people who are not as rounded in their game, mm. who cannot play off the ball, do not work defensively going backwards and, the, and produce numbers in certain systems in certain areas of the pitch where he is far more rounded yeah, than do, that. Do you, Clive, do you think as well Arsenal fans get so about him because he is one of your own? He's yeah. like the, the model professional. You never get any problems with him. He's never in trouble. He's never out late. Everything about Bukayo Saka is class. And do you think Arsenal fans get so angry because when people criticise him, it's almost like you're criticising one of your own kids. Exactly. <laughs> no, exactly. actually, I, I don't have kids yet, but I actually got yes, that. You know what I mean? Like, I understood that. Yeah, I feel that. I, I, did a, I, I went to see how he, how he was doing. So a little, little search on the way down here, and I thought, all I could see is other people criticising the fact that he didn't end the game, that he got injured, <laughs> that he was limping. I'm thinking, hold on a minute. You just, I, I just need to calm down. Now. <laughs> I need to calm down because this isn't serious. If, if, you, if you know your football, this isn't a serious conversation. And what he's producing, what he produced over three, four years, mm. but only in a team that's on its way up. It wasn't a top team. He's, yeah. he's got us here. Isn't yeah. he? he's, yeah. car he's helped get us here, not on his own, obviously. And he's still doing it. And he's going up again. So just what, wait. What I loved about his performance this game is that Southampton picked two left-backs. Mm. Um, they basically just double marked in the whole game. And it wasn't just two. They brought across one of the midfielders yeah. as well. I did a lot, some analysis on the game. And I, I could have froze frame a number of occasions where there were three players around him. Yeah. And for the goal that he, you know, for the cross that he put in for Martinelli, he had the two on him and he just drove inside and produced the cross of the game. He, he's finding ways to, to cope with what opponents are trying to throw at him. Against Atalanta, You'll notice this. He was he was playing much more like a number ten in that game. Yeah, Again, yeah. I think because they were they were really getting tight to him. It's like right, we're going to just switch things up. We're going to go and play a little bit more central. I think we're going to see Saka's role evolve over this season and, and, and many seasons because he's so versatile. He's, yeah. he's brilliant. And in this game, by the way, against Southampton, no one won possession back more than Bukayo Saka. Yeah. So it wasn't just what he did with the ball, which was brilliant. It he, he was also our, probably our best player without it as well. So Saka's actually already on seven assists this year in the Premier League. Do you think he could get close to Thierry Henry's record of 20? Kevin De Bruyne, I have to mention, has got that record too, but this isn't a City show. So we're going to go past that <laughs> really quickly. But do you think that he could hit that record? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you said he's got seven now already. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, every time he gets to the ball, he makes something happen. Whether it's a shot, a goal, or a cross, or a pass. I, I think you can get there. I mean, what Thierry did is 20 goals and 20 assists. Is, I, honestly, when I look at that number, it just doesn't make sense to me how someone could do <laughs> that many goals and that, and that many assists. But I think for Saka, he might not hit the 20. I don't expect him to hit the 20 goals, but I think for 20 assists, I do think he could hit that mark for sure. Yeah, well, I'm an Arsenal awesome man, right? I would, <laughs> I, I'd agree. Um, but again, not just the set pieces. The way... I, I do think his last action stuff has got better. Mm. His, his contacts on crossing. His last pass, he's got a lot more appreciation to it. 
and I, I think it's improving. You said earlier about double fullbacks, mm. agent. I, I was thinking about to buy a minute. I did the same thing last year, <laughs> didn't I? And, and he, he coped with it, but not as well as he did the other day. And so, if people are not thinking he's good, look what other coaches are doing to stop, stop him. Yeah, yeah. And they tell you how good a player is, right? So. Yeah, this is a bit of a serenity about Saka mm. now. Like, I think he's so confident in his own ability. He knows he can drive past players on the outside or the inside. He just. He just looks smooth. And, and I agree, I think the way he strikes the ball even, I know it's a real basic, but the way he strikes the ball is cleaner. Mm. Well, it's chalk and cheese actually for when he first come through, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> when his finishing wasn't great, he now, he hits the ball so yeah. crisply. He, um, he can definitely break that record, definitely. Especially with Ga if Gabriel stays fit and he attacks those corners from the penalty spot <laughs> like he has done at the start of this season, he might, get, he might give uh, Gabriel eight or nine on his own. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so then also talking of players in form, we have Kai Havertz with that classic song, 60 million down the drain, Kai Havertz scores again. I have to be honest with you, I love that song. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to ask you guys, what are your what are your favourite chants? I also find I sing Rice Rice Baby to myself a lot, but like out, like I mean, just in just, general, I'm not sure why. I think my, my favourite is probably Saliva. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like Saliva's one. That's probably yeah. my favourite. I don't have favourites. Got any favourite songs? No, sing in the shower. Don't, don't sing. <laughs> I, was, uh, I, I, well, I like. The, I, did, I went to the dance earlier this week. I like the Colo Ture song. Yo, yo, oh, yeah. Ture, Colo, yeah, Colo. Yeah. Like, yeah. The um, I, I always have a lot of fun doing that one. But the uh, messing around with the kids doing that. But no, they're, they're, they're good songs. Mm -hmm. I like the Wacka Wacka one. Goes yeah. down well in our in our household. I have to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. And look, we're kind of singing it a lot at the moment mm -hmm. because because. Yeah. He is a guy that's definitely... We talked about Saka improving his finishing. Oh, Havertz, wow. that was the missing ingredient, wasn't it? And mm. I still think there's improvement to come, but he's definitely getting better. And I think that goal, the way he struck it so cleanly, I think that was an indicator of that he's... Yeah, he's getting there. Well, just to yeah. be honest, let me ask you a question. Yeah, you, Clive. When he first came, though, what were your <laughs> thoughts when he first came? Because I'll be honest and hold my hands up. I was like, 60, foot, 60 million on what? But... <laughs> I, I, would, I got it completely wrong. You, How are, did you, the, you are the only one that's hold their hands up. Yeah. I, I, can't find, I can't find anybody else. I've said mine on there. I, 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 I've come to pieces that I held my hands up. I said, when they spent 60 million yeah. watching what he did at Chelsea, my dad being a season ticket holder at Chelsea, yeah. he told me about Kai Havertz, watching him week in, week out. He was like, I can't believe you're buying 60 million for him. Yeah. But he's convinced that's me. It's a different family. It was a, you know, it was a family of misfits <laughs> yeah, at Chelsea. That, yeah. He feels that like he belongs now. You yeah. Know? I, well, that is a big part of the Asian, as you know, right? And, um, so for me, fortunately, the first game I saw him live was the Community Shield. Yeah. And if you watch that game as a centre forward, if you watch that game, you could see the potential immediately. Yeah. But then we sort of did a thing, moved him around a little bit, and and we sort of lost him. I'm not saying just because of positional movement, but we lost him. But that game stuck in my mind. The yeah. first impressions yeah. do matter, yeah. and so I I stayed with him yeah. massively okay. because he had so much ability in that game to move the best centre-backs around yeah. and really trouble them. Mm. And everyone focused on the missed chances, but I focused on the fact he got chances yeah, against them. Course, yeah. And so that's why, for me, it's, it's a genius bit of talent ID. Yeah. Whether they got it right positionally immediately no, no, no. is up for debate. Mm. Um, but now we have a centre forward which literally suits our team almost as yeah. good as any other. Mm. Yeah, I, th there is evidence. I, did, I wrote a couple of pieces when he signed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's out there somewhere. I can't remember uh, who for. One of them might have been for, t for Talk Sport West, for Talk Sports website. But um, I got you in, in regards to no, in regards to I liked him. At, I liked him at Chelsea. I was, I was one of those that could see he was. Uh, What's the word? I don't know what the, what the term I use. He, he's a master at identifying space. Yeah. He's like a space invader. He's, yeah. he, he, he can see it quicker than other people. And we are a team that that is all built around movement. And 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 Chelsea weren't that sort of team. And I just I felt that it, it, with our combination play that he he would thrive. Now I did change my mind, Darren. When after I'd seen him yeah. five or six times in the Premier League in midfield, I was like, he's timid. He looks shy. It's like he's not, he's holding back, and I'm, I was concerned. But but like he, now he looks like a proper centre forward. Like, yeah. come on, you wouldn't want much more out of a centre forward because nope. because he, he he's he's running the channels, he's working harder than anybody else. He's he's, he's aggressive, he's strong, yeah. 
Um, he's got guile as well. We see we see some flicks and tricks. Got a bit of nastiness in him as well. He's, yeah. yeah, he's like he's a combination. He, I mean, older viewers might might remember Alan Smith, but 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 he reminds me of Alan Smith, and yeah. Alan Smith is a proper number nine. Yeah. But he's got a little bit more, maybe a bit more edge to him than than, than Smudger had. So, um, yeah, it's, it's long may this continue.